Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. It's been a while since I posted a video and um, since the last release of uh, Samplitude X8, they made a revision, uh, so not a new version, but a revision. Um, I thought that it would be a good idea to uh, go back in time and check the latest addition and modification of the software that they did over the last year. So since X8 uh, came out and then uh, up to today. So the main thing that I remember that was changed. So in the last update, um, they add a um, marker track. So that's interesting. They changed a bit um, how you can uh, set up the, the buses and stuff like that. We're going to check that as well. And early in other revisions, there was a big thing when they changed how you can do comping on a track. So let's go on the computer and check that. All right, before I begin, let's just precise that I work with the power user workspace. So there's a different looks and maybe uh, you won't find the, the options at the same spot, depending. So I like to use the power user, which uh, detach all the little tools like object editor, files, um, things like that. So I can put that aside on another screen. And um, of course, the mixer can be brought in directly over it or can be moved as well on another screen. Uh, so let's go with the, the modifications I can remember. Uh, this, um, the details of the tracks are hidden. If you click here, it will appear all the, the details that we're used to see. Um, they just added in the last update the marker track. So this is it. You choose a spot and then you can put a marker like that. And uh, there's, if you right click on it, there's a few uh, options. And if you click on the second choice, it will ask for the name, this name. Uh, and if I remember, if I create another one, it will keep the same name used before. Uh, even if you close the software and you do another one. So let's say, um, uh, you want to tag every time one person speak in a dialogue uh, or in an interview, then you have the same name all the time and you can change the name and tag the other person. Uh, so that could be a nice addition. And of course, uh, if you choose one, you can with this change the color and lock so there's no changes that can be made. Uh, of course, you can drag them and uh, double click and rename them. So originally they were up there uh, above uh, the timeline and now on a track. Uh, that's good because you can uh, stretch that track and have a better look on your marker. Uh, let's say you uh, record um, in another room and you want to see the, the marker through a window uh, far away, it's going to be better like that. All right, another change made in the last uh, update is uh, how the buses setup are made. We are used to click on setup and there's a window opening that we can make some choices, but now they added some right away. So you just click once and click on what you want. Uh, so let's say uh, I want uh, surround, then just click OK or it enter and then they add the feature. Uh, so that's a bit of a shortcut, but you can still click on setup and go into mixer setup and do whatever you need. Okay. So little changes. Let me know what you think. Another change that I like that was made in older revisions and that are still there is the comping method. But now what they did is they added this button and it shows all the takes. 
So if you want to change one part, it's very easy. You can just uh, drag on it and it replace uh, the playable audio. What you see in blue, purple is what is played. Um, so good addition. Uh, it's very easy and fast to do. A change that was interesting as well in the older versions that are still available now is to add a tempo track. If you go in track and insert a new track, you can go to new tempo track. And with the tempo track, you can add points and change them like so. So with the tempo track, it's easy to make uh, tempo changes. And of course you can right click on it and change the signature as well. So for uh, your click track to be changed as well. All right, I know that there was a lot of other things that were changed over the year and past years, of course. Um, if there's something specific that you want me to review or explain or something like that, please say so in the comments. Any questions in the comments as well. If you want to help the channel, there's a link. If you want to buy some uh, plugin for DaVinci Resolve or other uh, video production software, uh, this plugin is Dehancer. So it helps simulate old tapes and it goes uh, further than just colors. And anyway, I have posted some videos about it if you want to go. And there's a, a rebate so you can use. Um, and another way to help the channel, of course, is to play many videos and share those videos. See you for the next one.